what corporations, certainly in the 21st century, uh, need to come to, to terms with is the fact that happiness pays, meaning positive emotions actually lead to more creativity, they lead to more motivation, um, and they lead to more loyalty uh, for the, the workplace. And in the 21st century, an organization that um, is not creative, that does not have innovation as one of its basic pillars, uh, cannot thrive in the long haul. The first thing that an organization needs to do is to give space, place for people to fail. Now, it shouldn't give um, a blank check to failure, but it needs to identify the areas where failure is not uh, traumatic or terrible and give space in these areas because that's where people learn, that's where people explore. An organization where people are afraid of failing every step of the way will not be an innovative organization. Um, second, an, an organization needs to also consider uh, giving people recovery space. It's no coincidence that we get some of our best ideas in the shower. We used to get it in the car before the cell phone came on, on the scene. And um, it's because people have the time uh, to take a step back and to, and to think about certain issues uh, to, for ideas to, to marinate. And, and, and this is necessary. That's part of creativity. It's no coincidence that the word um, creation and recreation are etymologically linked uh, because we need to recreate if we want to create. Um, organizations need to encourage their employees uh, to take recovery times, whether it's the 15 minutes every uh, 90 minutes or so, whether it's the gym uh, in the middle of the day, um, whether it's the day or two off, um, not while being connected to the computer and cell phone, whether it's the, the, the vacation, where one is really on vacation, uh, on, on holiday. And these recovery periods in the long term actually contribute to creativity, productivity, as well as happiness.